Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. I'm actually drinking some water with Crystal Light. Cause that's where we're at. All right, I've got a haul for you. I dropped something. Eh, eh. We are gonna show you all the things I got this week at a couple different Dollar Trees, nothing crazy. Um, I picked up a pot. I'm kind of obsessed with planting, but I also am wanting dark colors, so I got this dark gray. I don't know if I need it yet, but I got it just in case. Um, some strawberry pineapple dole drink mixes. Okay, this I saw exactly one of in one store. The brand is Greenbrier Brick and, or I'm sorry, Birch and Vine Decor. I love it. I think this is so sweet. I don't know if this is part of their bridal stuff. I'm not sure, but I'm keeping it for me. So I got that. Um, I picked up one of these. It's a buffer. Mine wore out. They're not the best quality, but they're perfectly fine. I cut all my nails off. They get soft, so I cut them off. Also, I found this. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh, it spilled. It is um, descaler for my coffee maker. It's, I gotta, it's moist in here, guys. It's moist. Okay, not moist. I have to rinse all this stuff off now. I grabbed these. These are soft. Ooh, see that dripping? I'll have to wash these off. But they're rubber ball. They're silicone ball beads, but I use them on the tips of my knitting needles. I know. And then I found these. I'll show you what they go on. So Stanley Cups. Everybody knows about the Stanleys. But these will go on pretty much any thick, thicker straw. And they're just a straw cover. So when you're out and about, A, it's a little decoration, but it also keeps stuff from getting into your straw. This straw is a little thin. So that goes over your straw and then you put these on top. And they come with all different ones, which I thought was super cute. All right, I found these. These are gonna go into my life altering prize bin, except for this one that may be moist. Nope, I think it's okay. I Some of that, it just smells like vinegar. These are TY brand or Thai brand squishy keychain little danglies. So we have a cat. Is that a cat? Yeah, a cat and a unicorn. So cute, huh? I'm gonna put them in my life altering prize container for work. Ooh, I found these. Um, these are the Cincinnati Bengals. I really wish they had the Cleveland Browned ones, but they don't. It doesn't make a difference to me, but. Um, they're just little tiny lunch containers. I would say if I had to guess, that is less than a cup, three quarters of a cup maybe. But they're great for packing your lunches, some snacks. Um, yeah, and they're fun. They're sports themed, especially if you're a Bengals fan. I just got them to pack lunch. Oh, I found these. Um, these are Maybelline tinted oil. So I think it's like supposed to be a foundation or, a, you know, like a base cover, but it's, and I had to get the two lightest colors. So it, yeah, I got the two of the very lightest. It's tinted base oil serum. So like a foundation, but it's an oil base. I don't know what it means, but it was $1.50. Tinted oil. So I got color 10. I'm very fair, guys. And 
Um, and I guess the amount of drops to use is how opaque it becomes. And then I got number 30. And I figure, worst case, I can blend. So we're going to try these out. Yeah, they're definitely uh, different colors. So we'll see. We'll try it on. I wonder if you can add it to like moisturizer too. Um, to make your tint. I have to use tinted stuff because I'm not allowed to have sun. Um, I found this with all the bee stuff and it just says be kind. I love these bags. They're great for transporting stuff. And it says be kind. Let's all be kind, shall we? And it's the same on both sides. So I grabbed one of those. Usually what I do is fill my life altering prizes and take them to the office. Um, oh, I got some, I got a couple more pet bowls. I'm going to be going on a trip and I'm going to be gone for, um, about a week and a half. So my neighbor is going to watch my cats for me. Um, she'll wash the bowls, but I also just like to have enough to, you know, they eat out of this. It helps with whisker fatigue. So if you don't know what that is, uh, whisker fatigue in a cat is if your bowl is too deep and they have to put their face in it and it bothers their whiskers. So this bowl here, they're flat. So when they eat their food, their whiskers don't get bothered. So I'll run these to the dishwasher and just add them to their collection. Cause I use, they get, I use four of those a day. Right, right, trash. And what's in here? I got all kinds of stuff, guys. Ooh, fun stuff. Fun stuff coming up. Just a couple things. Here, I grabbed some of these lanterns for outdoors. These are definitely new this year. So take this off, pull that out. That keeps your... Um, the light from burning out. You have to peel off the labels, which these are easy peel. I 100% appreciate that. And then this comes out of the bottom. So it just lights up like your walkway. I think these are fantastic. I grabbed, oh no, well. Somebody pulled that one. So we'll have to see if this will work. I don't know why people do that in stores. But I'll put these outside. They can go in plants. They can go on your walk. Here you go. And what happens is they light, you know, they take on the sun, they're solar, and they light up. So instead of shining, they just have a soft glow. So I thought those were fantastic for my front walk. And then I found these, which I hadn't seen. Um, Sarah Jane on Chic on the Cheap showed these. And the, I have only seen these at one of my stores. This can also go into a planter. These are garden lights. So you have to, again, take the top off. You pull. What I thought was fantastic with these is you have like string lights in there and then you have a baggie full of um, parts that get added together to make. So it all comes in one box. Now you could obviously just sit these outside. You could hang them on anything, but they come with, I don't know, let's see, one, two, uh-huh, well, I guess, oh, Okay, that's not hard. You just push all of these together and you get a pole. 
hang them from. And again, you could put this in a plant, you could put it on your walkway in some mulch and it just lights up, but it's like a carriage light. I think this is pretty darn cool and we can tell that it works, right? I like that one a lot. We're gonna put that outside. I wonder if I can make this one light up. This one doesn't have any charge to it. Does this one? Yeah, this one does. I have a feeling the one that somebody had pulled is already either dead or it needs to charge. But look at that. It kind of has a blue light to it. So we'll put these outside and see how pretty they look tonight. And then I got one more thing to show you. Guys, wait, one, two, here. I had two of that one. What the heck? These are Happy Planner booklets. These book of stickers at the store are regularly like $20 a piece. What? I think I already have this one, but that's okay. It is thousands, hundreds and thousands. This is 1,557 stickers. So this one is seasonal. This too is a seasonal one. I think this is from a different year. Like how fun are these planner stickers? I love this book. I found all the ones I, that I, I could find. This one is 1829 Planner Basics, and it just has like everyday tasks and duties. This one is Productivity. Let's see. So you get, oh, Caffeine and Confidence. And you just, they fit into a happy planner, but obviously you can use them in any planner. And you get all kinds of stickers, some shiny, some plain. This right here, friends, I think that's everything, right? Oh, yes, and then planner basics. Okay, so this is everything. So right here, four different ones, it's almost $80 worth of stickers that I got for $5. They're older, I don't care, they're all still relevant. I'm still gonna do my laundry, I'm still gonna pay my bills, I'm still gonna go to the grocery store, Christmas and fall are gonna happen every year. Makes no never mind to me that these are older seasons, but to run into such a fantastic bargain at my Dollar Tree was my deal of the week. So excited, and then I got an extra one for Sarah because I'm not sure she does. She does more of um, bullet journaling than she does planners these days. But that is everything I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I'm super excited to take this outside. Or I might even put it on it. You know, Alex, be nice to your brother. He is so bad. I can't wait to take this outside and have it light up tonight. All right, guys, that is everything I got this week at the Dollar Tree. I hope you enjoyed, and I will talk with you later. Bye.